Hello, this is Uday Mittal from Yaksha CSC. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use DNSCAT2 to get remote shell access over port 53. This technique is useful to obtain remote shell access in heavily firewalled environments. Since port 53, that is the DNS port, is allowed in most network environments. First, let's understand how a typical DNS request works. A host machine uses DNS to translate a domain name to its IP address. For example, in this figure, the host machine is asking the domain name server for the IP address of google.com. Upon receiving this request, the domain name server replies back with the IP address of google.com. This is how DNS typically works. DNS CAT2 completely alters this functionality. DNS CAT2 runs a DNS CAT2 server on port 53. So where a host machine would generally expect a DNS server, our attacking machine would run a DNS CAT2 server. This server waits for the shell access forwarded by the remote DNS clients. Once this server receives the shell access from a victim machine running a DNS CAT client, the attacker can then use this access to issue shell commands on the victim machine over port 53. Thus, using DNS CAT2, an attacker can infiltrate into the network using port 53, that is the DNS port. Following are the high level steps I will be performing to demonstrate DNS CAT2. First, I will create and configure an Ubuntu EC2 instance on AWS. This would give us a publicly accessible attacking machine with a fixed IP address. We will then install DNS CAT2 on this machine and test our setup. Next, we will run the DNS CAT2 server on this machine and connect to it using DNS CAT client from the target machine. Please note that this technique assumes that the attacker has successfully downloaded the DNS CAT client on the target machine. All commands shown in this video are available on the GitHub link mentioned in the description.
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel Yaksha CSE for more such videos.